Hi, this is Dr. Gary. Welcome to the Daily Tune-Up today. You know, one of my pet peeves are people that say they can't, like I can't afford this, or I can't do that, and yet you show them the answers and the reasons that they can, and then they just blow it off saying, well, I don't believe in that stuff. Boy, I'll tell you what, talk about showing your ignorance. I love also people that sit there and talk about something like it doesn't exist when everybody else knows how to do it or they have the experience or they see evidence of the modality, the process, just like NLP, for example. I love people who say they don't believe in that stuff or the virus words. Somebody the other day said they don't believe the virus words make that much difference. And in every other word they say, they're using one of the virus words and they wonder how come they're not doing well. You know, as the old saying goes, you can lead a horse to water, you can't make him drink. If you know someone like that, and I trust that's not you, really, really understand that you can't save everyone and it's not really your job. What you have to do is stand on what you know, continue to enlighten yourself, and these things that I talk about on the tune-ups are real. You're looking at a person who once was one of the biggest skeptics in the world on all of this stuff. In fact, I was the guy that said he couldn't be hypnotized. And then I went to somebody who actually knew what they were doing and I fell like a rock. Because then I learned only people that have very high intelligence, a strong IQ, and strong will usually can be hypnotized. It's people who have hard time focusing, who are really not that focused and really aren't that sharp are the ones that can't be. However, I looked at it as an act of weakness because I was ignorant about what it really was in my early days. So if you're around people that are naysayers, when you show them the way, or how to help themselves and then they just blow it off as some new age gizmo. You can't save everyone. Today I want you to be very, very careful about using the word can't. Many people ask me, is that a virus word? It's not. Can't can be used properly. If you legitimately can't do something like leap tall buildings with a single bound, that's even possible if the buildings are five feet apart, but if they're 40 feet apart, you can't do that. So be careful and selective where you use a word like can't, because here's what's happening. When people say, oh, I can't do that, what's really going on inside of the subconscious mind is it's shutting down learning in that direction because now it is presupposing you can't, so what would be the reason to even attempt it or even learn it? That's the danger of using the word can't, even though linguistically and logically it can be used correctly. When you hear people say they can't pay their bills, they can, they're just not going through the effort or the proper steps to be able to. Or I can't make enough money, that's a self-fulfilling prophecy. The brain quits working at actually developing yourself so you can. So be very careful on the words you use. One of my biggest things here are understanding that the words we use, the words we're programming yourself with, listen very carefully to what you say. And if what you say is not what you want to have happen, be careful on what you're saying. So until tomorrow, this is Dr. Gary asking you to really pay attention to the words you use because they are creating your future. Also, yesterday we announced our cruise to Alaska with Celebrity Cruise Lines. All of those you, uh, you people that are interested in this, just go to the link that goes out with each one of these emails every day and get hooked up on it as fast as you can. Also, those links are on the drgary.tv website, and they're going to be there for a little while as we fill this up. There's limited space, so if you're interested, let's get rolling on it. And I really would love to meet you in person and have some intimate time together. That's the point. So until tomorrow, I'm wishing you an extraordinary day, and thank you for watching. Bye-bye.